Okay, we have a Masione Bosch 18 volt lithium ion compatible battery, uh, three amp hour. So this is what they often call the fat pack. And this is an OEM, this is a Bosch slim pack. So two amp hour, three amp hour, you can see it's about 50% bigger. Um, similar color scheme, but a couple different things here. First is uh, on the OEM pack, uh, pretty low effort to get that little detent. This is what holds on the tool. Not a lot of effort to get that down. This one really have to push pretty hard. I'd say at least 50% harder and then it still doesn't quite go all the way down and you have to really jam it. I think most of the time the tool releases it by then, but you really have to jam to get that last bit. So um, that's one difference. And then the other difference is, even though the listing says there is a fuel gauge, I don't see it. I was assuming it meant a fuel gauge like this. So the OEM Bosch packs have this little three LED uh, meter to tell you how much power is left. This does not have a gauge anywhere here doesn't have a gauge um, well I was not able to find it so um, not a huge deal there's there's a number of OEM batteries uh, I'm sorry non OEM batteries that don't have that and typically you can tell uh, when your tool starts to slow down so um, that goes on pretty easily and from as far as I could tell uh, the power you know I did a couple um, quick tests but uh, nothing um, seem to be any different uh, between that and the uh, slim pack. Now here's where the release can be an issue. With these, putting them on is not a problem. Taking it off because you can get your hand, your fingers on the back of this when you're using the impact driver or a drill. So pulling that off and on, not a problem. Again, you actually, even though it takes a certain amount of effort, because you can squeeze it like that with your fingers on this back side, not a problem. I have the circular saw, and on the circular saw, you do not have access to get your fingers on the back side. So you basically have to, it's usually a two-hander operation where you're doing this kind of thing to pull it out. And um, it is pretty tricky to get this off. It does take a fair amount of effort. Uh, unfortunately, that is the tool I would most likely use this on because the circular saw sucks down power much more uh, than uh, this is an impact driver with a uh, brushless motor. So uh, this is actually pretty efficient. But uh, more importantly, it's also pretty easy to swap the batteries out. So um, I'll put the rest of the information in the review, but thanks for watching.